Hi there. This is Tom Lyon, Senior Engineer with Inflow Communications. Just wanted to give you a quick step-by-step -step guide on how to set up a remote phone for use with your Edge Gateway for your Mitel Connect environment. Now, this quick tutorial will assume that the Edge Gateway device has been set up in your infrastructure, has been tested, um, and the RAST service is available for you. And this is going to be how to set up your IP480G or 485G phones to connect into the system. So the first piece that you will do is you will you will go to one of the phones that you're going to convert to a remote phone here, and you will, um, pr with the handset down, press the mute key, and then type in 73887 pound, or setup, and hit pound. It's going to bring you to a screen for admin options, which I am showing on my screen here. And you'll notice that one of the highlighted options is VPN. For the phones that can support the VPN appliance, you will have a VPN option, which will be off by default. And we're going to use this to go ahead and get your system set up. When you click the open soft key to go into this, you will see that the um, new VPN options here will have an option to use the VPN as well as change the gateway and the port. Um, you will want to keep the port the same. And when you toggle this option, it will then allow you to type in the VPN gateway. There are two options for this that you can use for the phones, and this applies only to the phones. The, the Connect client does not work in this regard, but the phones will. You can use the IP address, which would be the external IP address we set up for the Edge gateway um, for this initial connection, or you can use the FQDN that we set up, such as that rast.inflocom.com that I provided in my high-level example for remote work in our previous video. This will allow the phone to know where to go to log into your system. Once these settings are set up and you, you, have, had, you have entered this in and you, and you go away from this screen, your phone will reboot. And once it reboots, it will then be trying to use the VPN connectivity to get through. At that point, to make sure that your users are able to use the phone um, as needed, you want to make sure that the enable remote phone authentication checkbox is enabled for your user. Um, and then they would be able to log in using their user extension and their voicemail password. Again, this is Tom Lyons, Senior Engineer with Inflow Communications, and we'll have much more info here for you shortly as well. Thank you.